the last couple videos, we did direct proofs of statements of the form if P then Q, like this one. But sometimes it's hard to prove that if P then Q directly. So we learned in our logic videos that the statement if P then Q is equivalent to its contrapositive if not Q then not P. So sometimes you can trade a hard problem for an easy one. So now let's prove the theorem. The product of two integers is odd if and only if the two integers themselves are odd. So let's look at this uh, if and only if here for a second. So if and only if, remember, is a biconditional. And remember that a biconditional is equivalent to an arrow going in the forward direction and an arrow going in the converse direction. Now, it's going to turn out that it's going to be hard to prove if Q then P directly. Go ahead and try it yourself. You're going to run into some trouble. So what we're going to do is we're going to swap if Q then P for if not P then not Q. So that's how we're going to prove this. We're going to prove X and Y are odd makes X, Y odd. That's our forward direction. And we're going to prove that if X and Y are not odd, aka even, then X, Y is not going to be odd either. That's our proof strategy for this theorem. Let's take a look at the forward direction. All we said in the proof was that we have two odd integers, so that's our hypothesis for this one, is we're going to let X and Y be two odd integers. And then we unpack the definitions involved in that statement. If X and Y are both odd, there exist integers K and M. Notice that I have to use different letters for these two integers because they're not necessarily the same integer, such that X is equal to 2K plus 1. That's the definition of odd. And Y is also equal to 2M plus 1. Continuing on with the forward direction, X times Y is equal to 2K plus 1 times 2M plus 1. Applying the distributive property, that's 4KM plus 2K plus 2M plus 1. And remember the goal is to prove that this is odd, so I'm going to rewrite it as 2 times 2KM plus K plus M plus 1. Which is odd by definition. So the product of two odd integers is so we've proven if P then Q, now we're going to prove if not P then not Q to give us the other direction of the proof. So suppose X and Y are not both odd. And next I use an acronym that looks a little funny, WOLOG, which stands for without loss of generality. And here's what that means. X and Y are not both odd, which means that one of them is even. It doesn't matter which one is even. If Y is the even one, then I can just switch the names of X and Y. Because I'm being arbitrary, it doesn't matter which integer has which name. So without loss of generality, let's let X be our even integer. That means there exists an integer K such that X equals 2 times K. Well, in that case, X times Y is equal to 2K times Y. Notice that I don't bother coming up with a form for y, because y can be either even or odd. So I'm just leaving it as y. But it doesn't matter, because since 2 times k times y is 2 times an integer, it's even. Therefore, for x times y to be odd, x and y must both be odd. Therefore, x times y is odd if and only if, since we got both the forward arrow and the backwards arrow, x and y are both odd. 